is a sacred institution that faces a human society and should be held in high esteem among all men and women. We are assembled here in the presence of God to join this man and this woman in holy, mar holy marriage, which is, an in which is instituted of God, regulated by His commandments, and blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us therefore reverently remember that God has established and sanctified marriage for the welfare and happiness of mankind. Our Savior has declared that a man shall leave his father and his mother and cleave unto his wife. By his apostles, he has instructed those who enter into this relation to cherish a mutual esteem of love, to bear with each other's infirmities and weaknesses, to comfort each other's sickness, trouble, and sorrow, in honesty and industry, to provide for each other and for their household, and temporal things to pray for and encourage each other in things pertaining to God, and to live together as heirs of His grace. For as much as these two persons have come to this home to be made one in the holy relationship of marriage, it is understood that neither of them nor others present are aware of any just reason why this uh, contracting parties may not be lawfully joined. I charge you both before our God and Father, the searcher of all hearts, that if either of you know any reason why you may not lawfully join together in this match, where you now make it known. Or should any person be joined together otherwise in harmony with the will of God, their union is not blessed with Him. Let us pray. Our Father, whose presence brings happiness to every condition and whose favor sweetens every relation in life, we pray thee to be present and to favor these two persons that they may be truly joined in the honorable state of marriage. As they have been brought together by thy providence, sanctify them by thy spirit, and grant them full understanding of their new relationship. Enrich their lives by thy grace, that they may enjoy their, the comforts, undergoing the cares, endure the trial, and perform the duties of life together under thy guidance and protection through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Carlos Lloyd Carter. Do you solemnly agree before God and these witnesses to take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife, to love and respect her, honor and cherish her in health and in sickness and prosperity and adversity, leaving all others to keep yourself only to her as long as you both shall live? Do you, Patricia Ann Red, like matter, solemnly agree to receive this man as your lawful wedded husband, to love and respect her, respect him, and to live with him in all faith and tenderness, in health and in sickness, in prosperity and in adversity, and leaving all others to keep yourself only unto him, as long as you both shall live. Repeat these words after me. I'll just say a few words. I, Carlos Lloyd Carter, thank you, Patricia Ann Red, to be my wedded wife.